Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here just before 1 o'clock in Honolulu, 7 o'clock in New York. It is Monday, 10th day of August 2020, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We had gains in both gold and silver futures with spot gold closing lower on the day. It seems as though gold might consolidate in this area, but the real question we need to ask ourselves, was Friday sell-off a one-and-done scenario or the beginning of a correction? On Friday's show, I stated there was a 30% probability it'd be a one and done and a 70% probability that we would see the beginning of a correction. Obviously, I'm not an odds maker or very good at it because the 30% seems like that is what is going to come in. We'll talk about the exact support and resistance areas when we pull up our charts, but first, let's take a look at price changes. We had a mixed bag in the precious metals markets today in terms of gold with gold futures closing higher on the day and spot or physical gold closing lower. We're looking at the continuous contract, which is based upon the most active December COMEX 2020 contract trading up by about a half a percent gain of $9.40, now currently fixed at $2,037.40, which is right at the area that we exited our futures trade last week. I believe that we could see gold consolidate. Same's not true for silver. We'll talk about that in a second. When we look at spot pricing, you can see that that actually lost $8 on the day, currently fixed at $2,026. All of that in light of a moderately higher dollar today, up about two tenths of a percent, 93.58. But it was silver that shined the brightest today, gaining 6.23 percent. That's a dollar 71 per ounce. Currently fixed over 29 at 29.25. Of course, traders taking our recommendation last Sunday are remaining long their silver positions, and we pulled profits on our gold futures position gld and slv we had a slight decline in the gld because it does go off of spot about three tenths of a percent down about 66 cents a share at 190.15 and lastly we do have slv that gained about three percent in trading today total of 81 cents a share currently fixed at 27 dollars let's take a look at our current technical studies we are looking at a daily chart of the continuous contract of gold. We can clearly see that Friday's sell-off was not followed by a strong down day. Friday is this one candle right here. And what we can see is that although today we resulted in a candle that traded to a lower high, and effectively a lower close, we didn't really get a lower low. And what that tells me is that there is excellent support just above 2000 right now, and that's based on these recent lows. The other thing that's really important is to take a look at the two-day pattern that we identified on Friday, which is an engulfing bearish. What we are looking at now is a screen print that I took earlier with some of my commentary, because what is critically important for any engulfing bearish or bullish to be taken is the following day must be followed by a confirming candle. In the case of an engulfing bearish, you want to see a lower low, a lower high, and a lower close. Now, we do not have a lower low. We do get a lower high, and therefore, it doesn't meet the criteria. We also see an example of an engulfing bearish right here as the market went up, but once again, it was actually followed by a gap up higher. So, this two-day pattern is an excellent pattern if we see follow through selling or follow through buying on the next trading day. We did not see that in gold. Rather, what I'm seeing is a market that is probably going to consolidate. And as long as it holds these lows here, which come in at around 2025 in that area, we've got extremely solid support. I'm looking for a proper entry point to re-enter a long position in gold futures. Traders, we're looking at the continuous contract of silver futures. This is basis the most active September contract. It is trading lower after the close today in New York. We're in Australia now, down about 17 cents, but holding above $29 at 2909. I've put a simple extension up, which is looking at the different rallies and corrections that we have seen in silver, and then we're doing our extension from this long rally here. We have already surpassed the 1.61% extension. You can see that here. That to me would be a critical area that we need to see 
silver pricing hold. That's 2885. And on an upward trajectory, if it still maintains this bullish demeanor, we could see silver trade as high as 30 to $36 per ounce. Maintain your current stop maintain your long futures position we will look to tighten that up in the next 48 hours lastly i do want to take a very quick look at the two etfs we're currently involved in and that is gld and slv we have seen a level of resistance that has come in roughly at this area here and that comes in at around 195 per share we can see strong support roughly at 189 to 190 and that's an area that we definitely want to see this hold now remember because there's no leverage with the etfs we can let that market run even if we see some down days it's not that detrimental to your bottom line if we think that it will recover for right now our recommendation is to maintain your current long in gld and as far as the SLV ETF goes, obviously we want to maintain that. We look at this daily chart, we can see large gaps throughout. I really like to look at the weekly charts for the ETFs. It smooths out our information. We can really see that the moves we have witnessed recently, especially last week and three weeks ago, have been extreme and dynamic, taking silver pricing much higher and also taking the ETF higher we're going to maintain our iShare silver trust shares this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading we will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review bye-bye